and welcome back to my pie maker. Today I was in Little to buy some beans to go with my potatoes. And when I was there, I noticed this. It's a metal cutting bandsaw. Product code PMB 1100A1. This bandsaw has a, an 1100 watt motor. It has an angle range of between 0 and 45 degrees. At 0 degrees, it has a cutting capacity of 127 millimeters by 127 millimeters. That's roughly about 5 inches by 5 inches. And its capacity at 45 degrees is 127 millimeters by 40 millimeters. And that's about 5 inches by 1.5 inches. It runs at 290 RPM and the blade travels between 0 and 2.4 meters per second. The blade size is 1140 times 12.7 times 0 0.65 millimeters. It cuts pipe and metal profiles accurately. It has a durable blade. You can use it freehand or with the base supplied. Okay, let's see what's in the box. Oh, I've just noticed on the case that the stand is attached onto it. It's quite a rigid metal stand. We have the instruction booklet. We have some wee bolts and an arm key. We have a vise with a quick lock. We have the so and we have a mountain bracket. So I'll just put this all together now to see what it looks like. Okay, I have just assembled the machine. It has uh, two handles on it. There's one here, and this front one here is adjustable, and we can lock it in place with this wee thumb screw here. So it leaves us a good solid grip on the machine. It has a six speed control here, one to six. It has a trigger control here. We'll just give it a wee. And it also has a wee LED light. I don't know if you can see that or not. Hopefully you can. On the machine, there's a lock here for the swing arm. So when you raise the saw, it automatically locks into place. Very important you don't try to force the saw down after this is locked. Just pull it to release it and then drop the saw back down again. There's also a lock for the blade or for releasing the tension on the blade here. Make sure it's in the upright position or the blade won't actually turn. Let's take it out to the workshop and give it a wee test and see what it performs like.
I think this bandsaw does the job well for the price and as you can see from the demo it hasn't had any issues. It's accurate enough for most projects that I'll be doing anyway and I honestly can't fault the we saw. As always, if this video was of any use to you, please like, share and subscribe. And if you need any more information on this bandsaw, please leave a comment. See you soon and thanks very much for watching. There's just one more thing. The bandsaw worked well, but the beans worked better. Mm-hmm. <laughs>